before you could be happy for me. Before you could be happy. Also, I can't believe you're saying this. I mean, look at us. What happened? What happened to the promises we made to each other? What happened to our love? All the words we said and we'll be together forever. But have I said I'm leaving you? You might not know it, also. That's exactly what you're about to do. I see I might be a bit edgy and all, but. I promise you won't leave me. I promise. You mean it, don't you? So let's go tell your parents. Go and tell them what? What you just said. Look, I never said I wasn't leaving, okay? I meant I wasn't going to forget you when I get there. Where are you leaving this place? I said, I said leave this place. You know what? I believe in you. Tell us if you can do it. I can do it. Tell us if you can do it. I can do you it. You have a wonderful voice. You have a very clean tone. Okay? You know, a lot of people thought that your first album was a fluke. But this time around, we're going to be recording the biggest song in Nigeria. So please do me a favor. Kill it for me, okay? Okay. Now take it again from top. Love might be right in front of us Too close for us to see I've learned to close my eyes And let my heart see you Cause it doesn't matter how far Hi where are you? I'm at some smash hit studio. I told you I'll be recording a new single. Okay. Okay, let me pick a shot. Man. Let's take everything from top, okay? Okay. Dr. Bra, what advice do you have? As his condition is not stable, I will advise to take him to hospital. Let me ask you, what are the chances that he might fully recover between now and when we set sail? 50-50. In that case, I want him transferred to a land hospital immediately. Okay, Captain. Mofin, where is your friend? I'm trying to reach him on the phone, sir. We need to reach him immediately. If you're not able to, we're going to have to hire somebody else because we need someone right away. I'll get him, Captain. I'll get him, sir. Mr. Captain, I need three people in the radio room, and I also need somebody down with the engine guard.
you kill yourself? Then you are you. Reach her. I don't know why she would switch off her phones. Where did she say she was going? The recording studio. If you're that worried, why not call someone at the studio? That's true. I think I have the studio engineer's number. Then call him. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yes, this is Noye's mother. Oh, Amos, how are you? Is Noye still there? Did she tell you where she was heading to? Put it down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll let you go. 
I'll let you go. All you have to do is listen to the instruction from my boy here. All right? You go home. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're a virgin. Dorothy. Yes, there. What did you tell me about this, your lovely Facebook friend? What's going on here? Which is that she's a virgin? Of course she is. Aren't you? <laughs> Why? I call my friends. <laughs> So, so there was never a record deal or a big empire studio? Yeah. It was never. But you know what, baby girl? You have a bigger deal now, you have a big dumb daddy. So you have fun. Virgin. Please don't go, please. <laughs> <sighs> Ray, how many girls? Ten. Um. Meg, how many? Twelve. Wait for the signal, okay? And go ninety. No problems. Let's get the girls tidied up. Yeah. Stubborn girl. You made me stubborn. How? You don't appreciate our effort at all. What more appreciation do you need besides the fact that I pay you very well? Pay you very well? So you think you pay very well? Look, I'm stuck to you for all time's sake. If it was for money, I would have left you since. That's why you're wrong, girl. Really? I'm the one who's stuck on you for all time's sake. Really? I don't need you, Gabby. I don't need you at all. The whole world has become one big global village. I can get any girl I want, and that's the truth. I don't need to go scrounging through villages looking for girls. I can sit here at home or in the comfort of my office and off my laptop where I can get girls of all shapes and all sizes, anybody I want. That is how I got the virgin girl that you couldn't give me. Come on, give me the check, please. How many girls? Six. Six. That's more. Whatever. Officer, this is all we could find. This is her laptop and this is her diary. This will do for now. Okay. Please do all you can to find my daughter alive. We're already doing our best. And I assure you, we'll find her sooner than you expect. Not just found, but alive too. One more thing. Before she went missing, did you notice anything unusual 
anything strange about her. I don't know what you're driving at, but our daughter is in wayward. Honey, please, it's okay. Let me handle this. Uh, there was this frequent chat that she engaged in with some schoolmates and friends on Blackberry and Facebook. Blackberry? Would you know her contacts, her friends on the social media? She yeah. is entitled to her privacy, all right? That means you don't know her contacts, her friends, maybe her Facebook name. You heard me the first her time. Oh, please. Um, if this will be of any help, her name is Nonye Sylvia Ojuku. Thank you, Professor. It will be of immense help. One more thing, Prof. Try as much as possible to keep this away from the organizers of the award. Okay. And I think very good gifts for her when she returns. Take it easy, okay? She said uh, she, uh, she wanted me to a little bit come to school, introduce her, and pick up the performance of the big house music. Um, yeah, she left. Did you, she didn't in any time mention to you what she was going to meet the lady? No, not at all. She left. You can only take that call. You are going to put it on speaker. Yeah, hello. Hello? 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 Am I on to Mr. Amos Abudu? Yeah, Amos speaking. Um, Mr. Amos, my name is Nancy from BET Awards. Hmm. Yeah? We've been trying for hours now to reach one of the artists you have produced, and our telephone has been switched off. Who, who could that be, please? Nonye, Nonye Ojuku. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, what did you say your name was again? Nancy from BET Awards. She has actually been nominated as one of the best women outstanding. And we wanted to inform her. Hello? Hello? My distinguished senator. Mm. <laughs> Don't da da. Don't da da. <laughs> this is the uh, blood of the virgin you requested for. Oh. oh. Uh -huh. I had to supervise this personally. You can oh. trust me. Oh, I trust you. Mm. Uh, yes, 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 sure, yes. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, you, you actually live by your name. <laughs> One million. Yes, yes, yes. One million. Yeah. Look, it's always nice doing business with you. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Um, daddy. Oh. Uh, lest I forget, a colleague of mine needs feminine body parts. Ah. Can you handle that? Senator, as you're aware, this thing costs a whole lot of money. Oh, yeah, I, I know that. I know that. Uh, well, um, I'll give you a call later and give you the full details. Okay. <laughs> I trust you for that. <laughs> Yes, God bless the day our path crossed. We're always grateful to God. <laughs> you know, uh, with this, victory in the next election is guaranteed. <laughs> we must drink to this. <laughs> uh, to victory. Yes. 
you all came with your passport photograph uh, 5 by 7 as well? Yes, sir. All right. Because I will have to attach them to your forms. Okay, Jeff. When is my auntie coming by? Oh, say. You know, sometimes your auntie can be unpredictable. Her one hour can be two hours. You never can know. This is a uh... Excuse me, sir. Please, what am I supposed to feel here? Sorry, sir. You, you mean here? Yes. Oh, it's only acting your area of interest. Okay. Maybe you want to go and study or maybe work. As for me, oh, I'm going there to study. What else am I going to do there? Abina, there's nothing to do there. You want to travel abroad? To go and study, of course. Mine is work. More than natural. Oh, you look like one. Thank you. Why not study for today? Babe, I beg. I need the money first. School know the wrong. Sorry. Sir, there's another thing. Go ahead. Um, please, I don't have money to... <laughs> Sir, it's we. Together, we don't have money to travel abroad. That's no problem at all. The, the agency will take all of that. It's stated there. And, uh, you know, the condition is other students as bankers and all these money lenders. Those who are their shy looks. Just go through the forms. You know, okay. and sign out. So that we can do good business. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, what did you say that your name was? Sophia. Sophia. Get up, Sophia. Sophia. Turn around. Sophia, you? Laura. Laura. Get up, get up. Laura. Turn around, Laura. All right. And my pretty lady, what's your name? Cassandra. Cassandra. Yes. So Cassandra. <laughs> Cassandra. Come on, Cassandra. Come on, move back, move back, come on. What a nice model. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you. All right, so. waiting right
Can you have a seat, please? If she hadn't nagged me into coming here, I wouldn't have been anywhere close to you, much less given you the opportunity to keep me waiting. So why are you here now? Because this is how it's been for the past two years. Besides your arrogance, I'm sure you're not deaf. I said my wife dragged me into coming here. Obviously, because she knows you need me. Need you to do what for me? What does an ordinary OND lower credit holder have to offer a professor? Leadership. Hi. Come, 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 Sorry. Come, come, come. I didn't know you had a visit for me. Hello, sir. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. Leadership. Corrupt leadership, it meant to say? Or is it moral decadence? Or a life of indulgence? Which one? None. Mind your language. Just because you are my elder brother, you come into my guest house to come and lecture me on moral decadence. I served my people for eight years. I served the state for eight years. And you have the right to walk into my guest house to come and tell me and lecture me on moral decadence. George, if I were you, I would go and hide my head in shame. You brag and boast about being an ex-governor, being influential and all of that. Well, my brother, you cannot even do anything about your missing niece. When, when did this happen? Don't tell me you've not heard. Obviously, you want me to come crawling to you for help. And that's what my wife has succeeded in making me do. So, Mr. Ex-Governor, my daughter is missing. Please, can you help me? No. You know what? I didn't expect any less. Perhaps it was your approach. Maybe you had gone there to... to, to Should I have gone there to, 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 to crawl on my knees or cry like a baby? Was that what you were expecting? Well, maybe I'll go there myself. Don't ever. Not when I'm alive. of the Ojuku girl, I strongly suspect human trafficking. Really? Okay. Um, Ebra, you work on this house. Yeah, I'll have to make sure the girls right away from the mission so we can start some investigations. Okay. Also, you go ahead and liaise with your colleagues in the police so they could have been informed with information they already have. Right. Ebra! You confirm from the SFSF they've got any information concerning their mental health. Ma, what about the file? This is priority. Granny, please, what's the name of the girl? My young sister.
Hello ladies, you're welcome to Don Daddy's Island. Like I said before, feel free to play around all the nudes and cranny of this island, including the bedrooms. Like I said, feel free, you're welcome. When food is ready, I'll tell the cook to notify you so that you can eat and eat and feel free. Any question? No question. Pick a partner you can stay with. And let me take you to your rooms. Come on, baby. I thought you were here to relax. Uh, yes. I just want to send this SMS quickly before I switch off. Hey, come on, baby. Just to send this SMS and I'll switch off. It's a promise. Hey, right, come, come. Bye, bye, bye. Honey, yeah. bye. <laughs> Sweet baby. Hey, baby. Oh. I miss you so much. I miss you more, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spoil you soon tonight, baby. Wow. Yeah. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. So baby, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, baby, can't wait. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Done. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Oh no, just waiting for delivery acknowledgement. Oh, okay. I'll switch it up after that. Right. Come on. You have me to yourself yeah, today, okay? I know. All of me. Oh, 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 Do you have any Noya or Juku amongst the girls? Uh, who's she, boss? I'm sure you know that's not an answer to my question. Uh, uh, well, well, Your Excellency, I don't think there's anyone with that thing you know, amongst the girls. You think? That means you don't have proper documentation of the girls. Oh, Your Excellency, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, Your, your, your Excellency, let me, let me check and get back to you. Do that right away. Okay, then. Matter of fact, why don't I just give you a little taste of how I feel? Wow, this is beautiful. What do you think? Yes, but my mind is not settled. I feel there's something not right about this place. How? Why did Mr. Rimon make us swear an oath before coming here? We're not allowed to handle our passports. We know nothing about our visa. Even the school he said you're going to study, he hasn't told us anything about it. 
this is not just, I don't know. I think you have a point there. How could you allow us to an oath if we were going abroad for studies? Could it be more to this than what we know? I can't say for sure, but... My mind is not here. There's something wrong about this whole place. Yeah, let's just give up. I think it was okay. I'm okay with this place. I'm, I'm fine, like... Okay, this is nice. We have been able to authenticate the identity of Dorothy. Although she hasn't been seen by anybody we've spoken to in the last two weeks. Though we've been to the mugs in the city, and there's no record of her or Dorothy. And, and that leaves us with the possibility that they may still be alive. Uh, but there's something interesting about Dorothy, and real name is. Ayotunde Uche Williams. Ayotunde from Ogun State, where Amari was from. Uche from Abia State. Uh, Williams, her grandfather's first name. She's from a poor background, you know, and a high flyer. So I don't visit to her parents. And besides, there are 12 other places she stays and visits regularly. Unfortunately, she hasn't been to any of these places in the past two weeks. I, I think wherever we find Dorothy is where your daughter will be. That's not possible. It's not possible! Commissioner, my daughter is nothing like this Dorothy Uche Ifanyichu or whatever her name Margaret, is. Margaret, I want my daughter! Please. I want my daughter. It's okay, let's hear the now first. So, what next? Prof. We've been able to set up a surveillance in the 12 different homes and hangouts of um, Dorothy. Uh, we believe that um, she would visit any of those places. And uh, the assurance I'm giving to you is that when she comes in there, she'll be apprehended. Uh, the truth about the whole matter is that uh, your daughter is alive. And my word to you, madam, you will see your daughter. Uh, detectives, you can leave. Doc. Hey, the Don himself. Sorry. Sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> How are you? I understand. I'm good. How's life? Uh, well, uh, I need some female human parts. Any particular age? Mm, middle age. Yeah, middle age. Well, I don't have any in stock right now, but I have some patients that can come in handy. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> well, these ones will cost you a little more. Why? Don, we're talking about human beings. Uh, we've always dealt with human beings. But these ones are in stable condition. And you know what it will cost me to explain to their relatives of their sudden death. Okay, how much? 1.5 million. You're a thief. <laughs> Don, daddy.
red passport in 30 minutes. We shall make it available for you. Oh, I'll hold you to your words. Hello? Mike? What? Pretty. You don't step out of this house until I say so, okay? Okay. Where's your phone? My phone? Mm -hmm. Here. Destroy the scene. Don't worry. Gabby will get you another one tomorrow. Okay. We need to proceed with caution. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Mm. Gabby, um, prepare the girls for angle 90. They leave tomorrow, okay? Okay, boss. No way, I'm control. Mm. <laughs> yes, of course. I already told the Senate president. They are with us.
I hate it when people make me look stupid. Do you know what this could cost this agency? I have always reiterated the need for us to carefully check and double check leads before blowing a whistle. Look at this. A common criminal threatening to sue a government agency where he should actually be quivering. information on time? Uh, so I, I, I thought we talked about it. We did not talk about anything. You know, I'm not cut out for all these silly excuses. I put you in the police force to work for me. To give me information and on time. Yeah, yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Sit down. Say. Share with your boy. Sir, uh, Let's go. Uh, I promise you. That was a colossal mistake. I'm saying that your surveillance was nothing to write home about. There was no reason for that raid. Sir, I am more convinced the surveillance was carried out with diligence and precision. I think he was informed about this raid. I didn't mention it to the executive secretary of Natif, that it could be one of her people. But that is not to say that it could not be one of my men. I may not know who this informant is. I may not know who sold my team out to Don Daddy. But one thing I will assure you is that I will find out. And when I do, you will cause the day you enlisted to serve in the Nigerian police force. I will make your life a living hell on earth here. Get out of my office. Get out! Sir! To embarrass the Nigerian police force. I, 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 I just can't phantom how that information managed to just slip through without any of my inside men get, getting a hint of this, Your Excellency. But for the Senator, we would have all been in a big mess. That's incompetent. If you're telling me that, that means you have lost competence. And to think you can keep that away from me? Your, your Excellency, I just didn't want to bother you with such frivolities, Your Excellency. I, I, can, I can handle it perfectly. I can see how perfectly well you're handling it. Your Excellency, I'm on top of this situation. I can see how perfectly well you're on top of it. Anyway, what's the next line of action? Your Excellency, um, I'd like to suggest that, you know, we keep the girls on the ground for a few months. No, 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 we can't have all that. Do you know how much it costs me to keep the girls in holding? Anyway, proceed to ship them as schedule. I'll detail three of my aides to take you as far as you want to go. But nobody, no one must know about this. No problem, Your Excellency. No problem. Hi, George. Hi, Subir. Hi, Subir. Oh. Huh. <laughs> really? I've missed you too. Come, 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 come. Let's go and. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, boss. Kill them. Okay, boss. Is there anything you're not telling me? <laughs> Absolutely not. And you expect me to believe that? <laughs> you should. <sighs> How long have you known the ex-governor? Long before I met you. Dawn, you, sh you should believe me. He was so helpful to me a couple of years ago when I was in some kind of mess. He pulled me close to himself when no man would even touch me on the 20 feet pole. You see, and ever since, he has always been a reliable shoulder to lean on. But if you think I'm going to come between you two, then you don't know anything about, about me. Is he aware? You mean about our dealings? Mm. Oh, of course not. Oh, please, please, I beg you, let it remain so. You can go. You can go. Hey, please join me in saying happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to Happy birthday to you. Yes. Hello? Good. Am I consignment?
Aki, who was that? Where are you coming from? Routine check. Aki, don't you ever make the mistake of tempting with any of those consignment. Do you get me? I don't get you. I just gonna, I just gonna wait a bit. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. 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 Is your first time here? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever been to you before? No, ma'am. It's a long journey. It can be boring sometimes. Get used to it. I hope you know entire a ship and the routine here. Yes, my I know everything about this ship just like the back of my hand. Good. I'm impressed how you're dealing with. Very good. Keep up. Thank you, ma'am. Hey TJ. You're supposed to be up here with me, man. Sorry, Dr. Brown. Sorry. Duty calls on. Come on, man. Say, man, we got some five minutes, we're going for 30. What's up? So, where did we stop? Anyway, you're good with the gun, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. You better be. You see, you know, I have a feeling that guy doesn't like seeing me around. Not just you, man. That dude doesn't like any Nigerian crew, except for the cook. Uh, he must like a lot of food. <laughs> see that big boy? <laughs> Board, uh, yeah. yeah, you said you were going to show me and um, talk to me about the uh, navigational lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you come over here real quick? Come over here real quick. No, this deal is already costing me a lot more than I bargained for. Are you telling me now that it's going to take me longer to get the girls to Europe? Do you know that keeping those girls here in Lagos for another three weeks is costing me so much? Eh? I'm tired of your excuses. I can't afford it anymore. I can't. No, the girls are better off here than having them arrested at the airport as soon as they arrive. The new zonal commander is not well known to me yet. I think we should lie low, at least for another week. I have paid you. I have paid you and we have a deal. And I'm tired of your silly excuses. You don't. Taking these girls out there will put us at high risk. They won't make it past my session. The changes the new zonal commander has made, you know, this searchlight is so bright on you. But don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Does this mean to, do you know what you're telling me? That you're incompetent? That you cannot manipulate the system? That the system has overwhelmed you? Is that what you're telling me? Unfortunately, things are more complicated I am than tired. Me. I hate this. You know that I hate all of your stories. I don't like it. I perfectly understand. I, I promise. I promise what? I don't do promises. I do action. But do you know what I believe about you? That you lack the competence and efficiency. What's the meaning of all this? How do you expect from me? How do you expect me to recommend you for a new office now when you can't execute this little fit? 
Like, who, who gave you this job? I did. Who encouraged your rapid promotion? I did. What's wrong with you? This little thing here has cost me $150,000. Don, I apologize for whatever I have done. I'm going to fix things right. Who the hell is this Donald commander that you can't have him? Who is he? Don, I promise. You don't just give me a little more time. You know time? Did you say time? Time is what I don't have. Time for me is money. Listen to me, Abubakar. Just go as soon as my contacts bring those girls in time. I rent however you want to do it and ship them out. Do you understand me? Just get out. Just go. Just get out of my sight. No! No, excuse me, sir. What? Please, um, Listen. Good. Don't you ever excuse me again if you don't have anything important to say. Uh, sir, I, I'm going to the kitchen to get food for the watch standers. The food is there. Okay, Come. Sir? Have you seen Engineer Wangko anywhere around here? Uh, yes, I, I saw him earlier at the main deck, but he has stepped in. I'd rather die than commit fornication. <laughs> this is child's play compared to what you are going to do in Europe. I'm going to Europe for studies. <laughs> studies, my food. Now come on, come here. He's not dead. Come on, come on. Shh, shh. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. there's trouble. Where? Down. I think the cook is in trouble. The cook? Yes, we need to help him. What the hell kind of trouble is the cook in? And I don't know. I, I, he got into a, an argument with some ladies down there. Ladies? Yes, I heard female voices down there. What happened? 
happened here? I, I, I found him. I, I guess he tripped up and fell. But he's still alive. Don't just stand there. Give me a hand. I, I, I have a diamond in my hand. Come on. So when I came on the way to you, I don't understand because this is this is the place. See, I don't know why you listen to this guy. Uh -huh. I'm sure this boy must be under the influence of some strong substance. How could he say there are he heard female voices from where? Apart from Dr. Brown, do we have any other female crew member on St. Mary? That's the door. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, it's locked. This place is not used. So what are you talking about? Um, I know, right? We're trying to tell him. I think it's just. This is the place. That's the door. Illusionary. Yeah, there's nothing. That's what we're talking about. Excuse me. happens to what we have on the ground presently. What kind of question is that? It's your responsibility. You know the rules, don't you? Huh? Until the goods are delivered, you cater for them and, 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 and groom them. Yeah. Yes. So now that's how you want us now, eh? What's that? I don't understand you. I don't understand you at all. You know the rules, don't you? Becky, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I, I really don't like this attitude of yours when it comes to Hey, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Just stop it, preacher man. Just stop it. So I like my nipas, Yobi. Make a work die for you. Listen, as we are talking now, I'm ready to make the delivery. I have 12 girls in my house. 12 girls. Who is paying their bills? Who is buying them clothes? I do it. Hey, I beg, I beg. Hold up. I beg, I beg, I beg. Hey, hey, hey. Hold it there. I beg. 
Una no be the same way the bonus. So? No be the same problem we all, we all, get, we all get. So please, I beg. I no free shout. Make you hold yourself. I no free shout at all. I no free shout. Huh? Go back there and comport yourself. I beg, sir. Tell this your good for nothing old gorilla to get out of my sight because I want to pass. Becky, I beg, I beg. I tell God, beg you. Not just use your own, spoil my own, you hear? Not just use your own, spoil my own. If you be lena, go lena, I'm outside, you hear? My own is business. The two of you, I don't know. My own is business. So please hold that thing you call a mouth before I forget my fingers on your face. Broken record. Good for nothing human beings. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Now don't I blame I don't blame you at all. I don't tell not just spoil my show. Not spoil my show. Hey, hey, there he is. A new hero. <laughs> You know, from the first time I set my foot on St. Mary, I just knew that engineer was up to no good. Only God knows how long they've been doing it, right? Crazy. But anyway, we got the engineer and the cook locked up. We're good. And they? The captain ordered that it should be thrown overboard. Wait, is it thrown into the sea? Yeah, that's the best thing if he wants to keep the job. Look, that's crazy. He could call the police or the Navy or some law enforcement agency or better still, we'll go back to the harbor since we're still on Nigerian waters. All that is a waste of time and resources, man. Throwing them overboard is the safest and easiest way to get rid of stolen ways, man. I need to explain some things to all of you. I'm not happy. One hour ago, I was happy. Now I'm furious. What business did you have coming on my ship? I'm the captain. I've spent years getting prepared for this position, for this job. You come on with your selfish motives. Look at all of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Do you have any idea what damage you've caused? Do you know about the water? Do you have any idea about this water? You're going to find out. We have no choice. There's absolutely no choice. The rules state what we have to do with stowaways who've come for ill-fated purposes. What are you thinking? What would your families think of you? Imagine they look pretty, man. Huh? Couldn't they find jobs around here? Why do they got to go all the way to Europe? Obviously for prostitution. It's deception now, you know? These girls are never told about their destination yeah. or what they're supposed to meet when they get there. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Look at that one right there. Look, look at that body. Now look at that body right there, player. Mmm, that she fine. I like that ass. That's all say. All <laughs> say? Yes. All say has my fiance. Come on, man. So that girl first, but I'm saying no. Look, I never said I wasn't leaving, okay? I meant I wasn't going to forget you when I get there. Yes. Also, as my fiance. Of the girl that that's the the girl that oh The names are Ayo Tunde and Che Williams, right? Police. Oh, now service to the motion. Sha. Yeah. So, you mean we're going to go through all this over again? Four of your men have come in here with different tactics, asking the same question differently in the last how many days? Car. Officer Chris. I came here. Reported myself. 
Because I don't want to die. At least not yet. I'm definitely not in the hands of Don Daddy. Oh, he's thoughts. Officer. I had to sleep with his other thoughts. The same way I've been sleeping with countless number of those guys. Just to escape being killed. And you guys are here questioning me in different manner and style. Nonya's life and that of other girls are at stake. I mean, nobody. My life is worthless. And this has been since my mother abandoned me and ran off with some godforsaken lover boy. And my drunken, irresponsible, womanizing father. I regret my role in the kidnap of Noe. Yes, I do. I, I know I'm not safe here. I'm not safe, officer, as long as Don Daddy walks free. As Governor George and Senator Dejumo, Immigration Officer Abubaka, Detective Sergeant Mike, Becky, Meg, Ray, Ike, even Gabby, whom he caught me making love to. Akin, Engineer Wanko. Officer, it's a powerful ring. Powerful. They call it ultimate cabal. You don't know what these guys can do, Officer Chris. I've lived in fear since the very day I got involved with them. Me, I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid. And was it wrong? Was it wrong to have come in here? What about Patricia? Patricia is innocent. She's not involved in the cabal. Just the senator's girlfriend. Who doesn't know she's being used to get information on Naptic's activities? She loves being taken care of. And the senator is doing just that. So, she's blind to the things going on around her. Dr. Abbott? Hmm? It's Dr. Abbott. I call him the human part doctor of Dondaji. I don't think any sane person should take a sick one to his clinic. You just may have sudden death or disappearance, just like that. Give me a minute. Officer, what next? Is someone else coming to question me? I need something to eat. I, I, I want to eat. Where are your boys? Hello. Good. 
बिनती कर Are you the captain of the ship? Yes, officer, I am. I have a warrant to search your ship. Let me ask you, what is this about? Just to point whatever you say can be used against you. Was 
Yes, yes gentlemen, can I help you? Your Excellency, I've been directed to bring you to the state command. And who's directing? The IG. Please come with us. Just move. The game is up. Of course, can't you see it's all over him? We have more than enough evidence to send him to jail for life. That is so true. Who, 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 who put all this together? I did. Who puts the food on teeming digest tables? What you have failed to do? I provide them with jobs. What, what, what do you want to take me to jail for? There's nothing anybody can do about me. Nothing. Which hell? Please, gentlemen of the press. It's been a long day for this agency. The executive secretary should be out to address you any minute from now, but she will not be taking any questions after her address. Hope you understand and bear with us. Good day all. Like she rightly said, it's actually been a long day for the agency. I'd like to add here that human trafficking 
is a crime against humanity. And I believe all nations should come together to fight this evil and illicit trade. No matter what it takes, it should be eradicated. We had information about the trafficking of some persons out of this country. With the help of the Commission of Police, Lagos State Command, we were able to rescue as many as 60 ladies from different parts of the state. Top government officials who are involved in this illicit trade were also apprehended. I'd like to inform you that uh, the daughter of Professor Ojuku has been found. The girl that was reported missing almost a month ago, we found her during the raid. We have in our custody a top witness. And they say that investigation into the level of all those arrested has commenced. The vessel involved in the trafficking of those persons has been detained and its crew are being interrogated. However, in the course of our joint raid, we discovered other issues directly linked to the police. I believe they are carrying out the necessary investigations concerning that. But for information sharing, the huge success achieved would have been impossible. I would therefore like to thank especially Commissioner Harrison for his support in abstention.